right, so we're back for a quick one today. We are going to be talking about the <laughs> speed of the Model 3 Standard Range Plus versus the Model Y Long Range All Wheel Drive. You might be thinking, well, obviously the Model Y is going to be quicker than the Model 3. Well, we're going to be talking about how quick it is from 30 miles per hour to zero. So which one has a quicker regenerative braking? Uh, on hold mode. So both of them are going to be on hold mode. The Model Y is obviously heavier. It is larger. Um, however, it does have two motors for that regenerative braking, whereas the Model 3 has one for ours because it's a standard range plus with just the rear wheel drive. I wonder how much quicker uh, two motors might slow a car down than one motor. So we're going to check that out. And I also wanted an opportunity or maybe just an excuse to get out here and check this uh, new draggy device that I got. So it does actually give you GPS data and tracks the speed, zero to 60, quarter mile, eighth mile, uh, all that, but you can put in custom uh, measurements as well. So I'm going to do 0 to 30 and 30 to 0. Again, mostly focusing on the 30 to 0 in this comparison today uh, with both cars. And I don't have you know any sort of track or anything to, to test it out with. So we're just doing this in a parking lot. No other people here. Uh, but we're going to see what we can get out of the Draggy device and see what the comparison is between the Model 3 and Model Y as far as the regenerative braking and its ability to come to a complete stop when it's on hold mode. So on hold mode, the car will actually come to a complete stop without you pushing the brake pedal at all. So we're going to see how long it takes for it to come to a complete stop for each vehicle. So we're going to have to see how it works with the different devices. So I do have uh, another iPhone here. I'm hoping that the Draggy can run off either this iPhone or my iPad, uh, whichever one, so that I can take some shots with this camera. We'll see what different shots we can get and we'll see how it goes. Which one do you think is quicker 30 to 0, the Model 3 or the Model Y? So we're going to do a couple runs here and see how it goes. I am going to try to set up a couple different cameras and we're going to start basically in this parking spot here and just need to get up to 30 and then slow down to zero. And then we have here the Draggy. It was able to connect to the iPhone 5, so should be good to go on that. And we'll just reset it each time. Run one in the Model 3. So here we go. Take a screenshot of that. So that is 135.77 feet, zero to 30, and it took 7.14 seconds. It is invalid due to the slope being minus 6.7%, which is actually a lot more than I thought it was, but uh, we'll have to check on a couple more runs and see what the difference is. Run two. In the Model 3. Seven point four nine seconds, thirty to zero at a one percent slope. So that time definitely we had a different slope. So I think it's because we didn't go quite as far here on this. And it was one hundred and fifty point four feet. Run number three. That one they actually considered valid for some reason. 6.9% slope. Not really sure how they get this different number each time. But 143 feet, 0 0.98, 7.11 seconds. Right, this time we're gonna try it with the draggy on the outside of the car. 
run number four in the model three. It says invalid. <laughs> Minus 7.83% slope. Every one of them has been a very different slope. I don't understand that, but 7.36 seconds, 143 feet. What the heck, let's do five runs. Here we are, fifth and final run for the Model 3. Minus 6% slope, okay, well. <laughs> I don't know, all of them seemed a little bit different there on the slope and we did the same run every time, so that's very strange. But 140.54 feet, 7.46 seconds, 30 to zero in the Model 3. So let's go back, get the Model Y and see what the difference is between the Model 3 and the Model Y as far as their regenerative braking and the distance from 30 to zero. So we're back. And now we're with the Model Y. Draggy device here. Seems to hold pretty well on the Model 3, so we're gonna go ahead and do that on the Model Y as well. For all runs, we're just gonna have it stuck to the side of the Model Y. Hopefully that'll work pretty well. Um, same location, uh, a little bit different time of day. I didn't mention it before, but both batteries were around 60 to 70%. Uh, and so they have full regen available and the batteries are fairly warm because we have a drive to get here. So everything should be pretty comparable in that respect. So we're gonna go ahead and do, I think five runs again for the Model Y. So here's run one in the Model Y. Thirty to zero, six point eight seconds, one hundred and thirty point two one feet. There you go. That is uh, already a significant difference. I'm going to call that a win for the Model Y. That is, if you want to stop quicker, I guess. Run two in the Model Y. Six point seven eight seconds. 129.97 feet. All right, run three. 127.17 feet, 6.73 seconds. Run four. 6.71 seconds, 129.6 Feet. All right, run five, this is it, last one. 6.65 seconds, 128.55 feet. All right, so there it is. It seems very definitive, actually, that the Model Y has a quicker stopping time or, uh, a quicker 30 to zero time for regenerative braking. Again, both cars were on hold mode. We were in the same parking lot, so everything was exactly the same. As far as that is concerned, both should have the same amount of regenerative braking available uh, due to the battery being between 60 and 70% for both vehicles. And before I forget, better get this draggy off outside of the car, don't wanna lose that. So. In just the average test, it looked like the Model Y would stop in about 130 feet and in around 6.7 seconds. So somewhere in between 6.65 and 6.8 for the Model Y stopping time. And for the Model 3, it was between 7.11 was the quickest and 7.49 was the slowest. Those two motors definitely make for a quicker stopping time in the Model Y than the Model 3. Even though the Model Y is almost 900 pounds uh, heavier, it's around 4,400 pounds versus the Model 3 is around 3550. 
uh, at least according to the specs that I've seen as far as curb weight. It should be that the Y would take longer to stop uh, with that, but it does not take as long because again, because that regenerative braking with the two motors is more powerful than regenerative braking with just the one motor. So there is just a quick comparison between the Model Y and the Model 3, in this case for the stopping speed of regenerative braking on both vehicles from 30 to zero. Did get to try out that draggy device and I will say I do like it a lot. Uh, obviously I'm not gonna be using it a whole lot on tracks or anything, at least until I have the opportunity to get to a track of some kind. It'd be kind of fun to try it out there. Uh, today it was interesting to just try it out and it worked really well even with iPhone 5 here which is obviously not a very good phone. It's it's pretty old and I was surprised it worked at all but it worked perfectly with the iPhone 5 and I was able to get all that data and I never had any con connection problems with the Draggy so overall pretty cool device. Uh, pretty fun to have. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up below. It helps others find this content. If you're not already, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.